Don't you know, many fighters have been killed by the Starfighter. The virus has completely devastated over 150 of the world's major regions and then is spreading rapidly. At this point in time, we know of only one method of killing the creatures, going to destroy the brain. Be on the guard of any loved ones who may have recently been in any sort of contact with the infected. And if you find yourself in a threatened position, please do not hesitate to act. Again, this is, this is not a test. This is not a joke. We as a species... Zombies, man. Hi guys, it's the Walking Zero Zoo Dead here, king of the anime and manga boxes here on YouTube. So today we're going back to one of my guilty pleasures: zombies, tits, and ass. That's right, we're going back to High School of the Dead. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reviewing the Full Color Omnibus Volume Two. So this is essentially what would be the second season of the anime and I'm going to show you some of the awesome artwork and colour so yeah, hopefully you enjoy it guys So guys, let's check out this full colour bad boy first off there's a pretty nice little uh, dust cover like slip case over the top of this you see he's got Psycho, the Samurai Sword Badass Real nice. And inside, you've got a, a bit of a poster. But we're not going to show you that because you know, <laughs> boobs. <laughs> but there we go. We've got Psycho on this side. Black. I love this. This black hardcover. Yeah, she is. She looks like an absolute beast. There's a side. It's the back. So I'll show you some of the artwork and this because I, I love this full color. It looks really, really cool. There we go. So this is off where they start off, basically in like the mall. There she is! Yeah! My favourite character that get, it gets introduced in this part. She's a pretty cool little police officer, a bit of a badass. But a cutie at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks really cool in full colour. It just, it just gives it, it gives it like a little certain, certain little charm to it. That's completely different, you know, to, to when it's in black and white. I do prefer black and white over it, but, you know, every now and again you can't really go wrong. Look, it looks so cool in full colour. I mean, I'm, I really love this shit. So we're going to skip forward. So we've got some zombie deaths. Yo. These guys have become some pretty badass, like, zombie slayers in between, you know, part one and part two. So guys, I have to say, I actually really enjoyed the second half of High School of the Dead. Um... I honestly felt like the etchy, the fan service, was quite toned down. There wasn't as many bra and panty shots and those cringe-worthy scenes like the bathtub where you're like, please don't let anybody walk in while I'm reading or watching this. You're just going to die and you'll be like, burn it, just throw it away. Don't don't see me. You know, because it was really over the top in the first half. I felt it was, a, it was slightly toned down. Maybe we got a bit more like progression in the storyline. We got introduced to a load of new characters. I personally really enjoyed the police officer lady who's in the first half of the mall. Um, and also, I really like the tributes in this second half. In the first half, you do get some really cool little Easter eggs, like you've got Sean from Sean and the Dead. He's working like a little convenience store, which I thought was really cool. And this half, obviously, two massive ones. Huge tribute to Romero and Dawn of the Dead being the whole mall and being you know, like locked up and barricaded in a mall and things going to shit. That's a big tribute to this. And yes, that is signed by the man himself, the godfather of zombies. And um, the second half, I think it was a little bit of a tribute to Resident Evil 2, being a Capcom gamer, you know, a Japanese survival horror game, because it's set in a police station. So, you know, that to me, being a hardcore Resident Evil fanboy, that was a nice little treat and I really enjoyed it. But yeah, when it comes to full colour, I'll say this. I think that it's good if it's a nice, you know, special edition, sort of like one-off thing like this. But uh, I, would, I, I honestly don't think that I would truly like every manga that I read to be in colour because I think that black and white gives it a certain charm like I couldn't imagine like Berserk's artwork or Vagabond's artwork in colour I honestly think it would kind of ruin it but for this 
you know, over the top blood and gore and zombies and boobs. It's perfect for it, and I really, really enjoyed this manga. And um, in the comment section, yo, tell me who was your favourite character to be introduced into the second half? What was your favourite zombie death? Mine personally is where that lady gets that big old like medieval spear and kills the zombie in that one panel. That's really cool. So guys, give it the old thumbs up, subscribe because this is a reboot of my channel, and you know, thanks for watching. Oh, holy fuck, man, that zombie. Ah, oh, fuck. May the sun never set on the British anime empire.